Welcome back to Victorian Charm Antiques. Today we're going to be talking about the origins of Halloween. Make yourself comfortable. The tradition of Halloween originated thousands of years ago with the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain, meaning summer's end. The day was said to be a time when the veil between the living and the dead was the thinnest, and humans could communicate with the spirits beyond the grave. A few centuries later, the Christian popes attempted to replace the pagan holidays, like Samhain, with events pertaining to the church. And in the 8th century, Pope Gregory III designated November 1st as a time to honor all saints. Soon, All Saints Day incorporated some of the traditions of Samhain. The ancient festival marked the end of the harvest season and the beginning of the winter, or the dark half. Traditionally, it was celebrated on October 31st to November 1st. Did you hear that? Hear what? Oh, that just sound like footsteps. I'm not sure. Hmm, weird. Weird. Maybe something outside? Could be. Okay. okay. Upon leaving their homeland due to the potato famine, the Irish and the Scottish immigrants brought their traditions with them in the 1800s. In the Victorian era, Halloween was celebrated with great enthusiasm. People would enjoy bonfires and parades, they would dress up as ghosts, witches, animals, or clowns, or just wear a mask to trick any wandering spirits. The candles were lit, the food was left on doorsteps to feed spirits from the other side. An earlier tradition was to carve scary faces on pumpkins, squash, turnips, even beets, and leave them at the front door to ward off evil spirits. What in the world? Did you see that? What happened? I don't know, the candles just went out. That's weird. It's just like there was a breeze and I just went out. Maybe. Oh, that's strange. Do you have the matches? Yeah, here you go. I'll pause the recording. Thank you. That's kind of strange, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know what happened. In the Victorian times, Halloween games were widely popular. Many games had their origins in pagan religions or medieval superstitions. One game was Bob Baby Bob. Apples were dumped in a barrel and the first person to grab one with their teeth was the first to be married. Games with mirrors were favorites. A young lady would eat an apple in front of a mirror, and if the spirits were amenable, she would see the reflection of the man that she would marry. Another game was called Ghostly Fire. In this game, they would take salt and alcohol and put it in a small dish with some raisins. They would light it on fire, and when the flames were the highest, they would clasp hands and dance around the table and try to reach the raisins from the flames. Okay. Fast forward to this year, 2020, things have changed so much due to the worldwide pandemic of COVID-19. The gatherings and festivals will be much smaller, but it doesn't mean that we shouldn't continue to embrace the spirit of Halloween. Dress up your windows with your most gruesome ghosts and witches. Carve out your scariest pumpkins and put them outside the door to ward off malevolent spirits. Keep the time-honored tradition alive. Stay safe, everyone, and have a happy Halloween. Thank mm -hmm. you.